Hi Soyabees, it's Soya. The May update is coming, so it's time to discuss what happened in the latest Romance Club update to keep our memory fresh and discuss what happened in the stories. Before we get into the video, I would like to invite all my lovely Soya Bees to my Telegram channel, which is my little Soya Club. This is my community. Feel free to join for extra Romance Club and Soya content. And let's start the video. Let's start with Kali Flame of Samsara. We got one episode of season 1, episode 9, and we started where we left in episode 8, David's tragic fate. Because she is the bride of the Lord. But that's not all. Devi needs to connect with the goddess to receive her call, to know what's going on, to know how exactly she can avoid this tragic fate. Ram offered us his help in conducting the ritual. And if you are in a romantic path with him, he kind of teased Devi. We all know that scene in Kali, Call of Darkness called Amrit. We also met our fiancé, Christian, and gathered some valuable information about a new love interest, Doran Basu, who turned out to be a reckless and fearless freedom fighter with the nickname The Executioner. Although his cruel actions in the uprising, he is a free man, and that's because Vidya Basu his big sister helped him and covered his tracks so he's not facing any consequences. Miss Basu really said family first. We also had two new stories in this update, Heaven's Secret or Cram, which is a spin-off of Heaven's Secret, and Astria's Broken Heart, which is a brand new paranormal supernatural story. I already discussed the plot, the theories, and the similarities between the two stories here. So if you are interested in you can watch that. I will link it in the description as well. In this update, we got three new episodes of The Desert Rose of Season 3. Episodes 6, 7 and 8. The Desert Rose had a very impactful and hot update. <laughs> we got very hot and steamy scenes with our love interests. All of them. And we also got to marry Zane. After that, the main character and the gang decides to go to the Sahara, a little trip. There we got to uncover the truth about the desert rules and we also now getting closer to our little investigation and we also get to know more about Safer and about the city's tragic history and also the cruel secrets of the Sala family. Even though Song of the Crimson Nile won't get new episodes in the next update, I decided to include that story in this video as well, just to like, you know, don't forget what happened. <laughs> Keep that in your memory. Song of the Crimson Nile had one episode of season 2, which is episode 5, and we started where we left off in episode 4, so Amen's dream. We learned the culprit and the bad dark magician that everyone is looking for is actually ta -da -da -da, Dia's ex-boyfriend and also Rimao's mentor, Simon Hamset, who turned out to be a very special Sheshmu, just like Eva. He has a very warm soul, so Aman can't really detect him, and he's also a servant of Set. Interesting, the plot is getting thicker. With that, Eva decides to flee with Seth, but mm -mm, it's not that easy. She met with Agnia on her way, and they had a less friendly conversation, but they decide to form an alliance in order to catch Rimmel. In this episode, we got a little closer to Seth. <laughs> And we also had a little conversation about Egypt's fate and a little bit about dark magicians as well. So Seth is losing followers because of the ban. That's why his strength is weakening and he needs to get more power. On the run, we also met Livius, who turns out to be a runaway as well. He nearly got... He survived and decided to leave the settlement for obvious reasons. We finished the episode with a very hot kiss with Livius. 
love scene and you will also had just one episode and it was kind of a filler it was episode 8 of volume 1 we had monsters we have tentacles we have more tentacles and more monsters we also got a very hot and spicy scene with the bat vampire yeah that was something <laughs> we are desperately looking for the heart the vampire heart but with no luck it's nowhere to be found depending on your choice to be a vampire bride or be a vampire huntress you have an opportunity to, to go against the vampire or slide with the vampire chasing you two had a season final season one is over we got only one episode and that was the finale episode 10 and surprise surprise there is no ghost the white lady ghost does not exist we had an imposter it was just a trick and it was the madam's assistant ella all along she was the one who sold poison to women in order to have them free from unhappy marriages and unhappy relationships after the confrontation you can either let her go or arrest her if you decide to arrest her then you will get free points for your detective agency the season ends with a CG video where we can see the main character lying in a coffin with flowers in a white dress. Hmm. Is it connected to the white lady somehow? Timecatcher also had a season final and we got two episodes of season one. In episode 11 we meet the vampires patriarch or master or boss Constantino who invited us to an auction where we could find out more about this mysterious painting we also have an option to choose one of our love interests or friend to go with us to the auction so cool in this update in episode 11 we also had an opportunity to unlock a romantic route with Onyx and Thales we also met Renato Hi father! In a dusty hotel, he gave us some valuable information about the boar, an old woman who happens to know a lot about this painting, but there is a catch, something is wrong with her. And if we were smart enough and find this out, we got an achievement unlocked! Yay! And I would like to take a couple of seconds to appreciate the main character's formal outfit, like the hair, the dress, the little sparkles, the little gems on her it just looked so gorgeous we also got a very cute cg with our love interest in the auction but unfortunately the auction was very short because spoiler alert the main character got kidnapped we are in danger but on the bright side we found the picture Another story with a season final is Garden of Eden. We got three episodes of season one. This update was so huge, so impactful, so tragic. A lot has happened. We had a chance to get a little closer to our love interest and we got not one, not two, not three, but five CG pictures. We got one with Tuyong, we got two with Kestiel and we got two with Songwa as well these korean boys <laughs> crazy in episode 9 we had to choose just one love interest although the guys are all look very very handsome we can only go with just one <sighs> by the way let me know in the comments down below who are you romancing a new scandal is also unfolding Arya and Woojin are together Oh my god, how dare they? And before the comeback? Side note, I'm very happy for them. They look so cute together. <laughs> Although we tried our best to persuade Mignon to stay with us, she sadly... Was she forced to self-exit? That's the main question. On the bright side, we had our comeback and it looks like the group is doing well. But still, we had a major damage to the agency's reputation because of the whole Minion accident. The agency is trying to take drastic measures in order to protect the idols, which I think it's a little bit late, but you know what they say, it's never too late. And that's why we had a chance to meet our new romantic interest, Dong Hyun who happens to be a therapist 
He looks like a bad guy to me. <laughs> we got three episodes of Solace as well. Episode 6, episode 7 and episode 8 of season 1. <laughs> this was a very very fun update. <laughs> I love Solace. We further dove into a regular life of a demon escort. <laughs> we had a fancy date with our divorced detective partner and yes we are partners he wants us to get more information about Ava and about this whole like situation after that we had a very hot scene with Trexio or Trexia but it was just a lesson right <laughs> and had a romantic bike ride with Walter slash Cynthia to the Devil's Den Tigers nightclub fortunately our Celestite friend <laughs> stepped in in time so we had opportunity to retreat before causing a major disastrous ruckus. I was not afraid for the main character, I was afraid for the nightclub. <laughs> in this update we also had our official first job as an escort and as an informant. Hence we got a chance to meet all of interest, Ava, and get to know her better. She's gorgeous by the way, she's so beautiful, she's so pretty and she's rich as well. <laughs> The last scene of episode 8 was a yacht party where we showed up uninvited with our vlog buddy Vincent who wants to be very righteous and a good guy. He wants to destroy weapons used by and owned by the mafia. Will he succeed? Will he survive? Love from Outer Space got two new episodes of this update, episode 9 and episode 10 of season 2. This is the last season by the way. It's so sad. Kurtz, the guy who was bullied, showed up to the teenage party uninvited with the nullifying stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> Poor kid. Turns out he is not as bad as we think because earlier he had the gang escape. He's just a depressed and misunderstood kid. Fortunately, we were able to save him, the party and the nullifying stuff. Later in episode 9, by the way, if you have Curtis' trust, you can pair him up with Sally. Meanwhile, the military is stormed at Ursula's and Ray's house, so they had to flee. They decided to escape, but at the same time, we have an alien invasion. Space pirates decided to invade Earth, so Ray and Ursula had to step in and protect Earth. These were all the stories that I'm currently playing and wanted to discuss with you. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you, my lovely soya beans, in the next one. Bye!